Welcome inside our San Francisco studios. It's Inside Pac-12 Football, the digital edition. I'm Mike Am, joined by a couple of guys that know all about USC and the tradition there. A man who spent uh, 12 years in the NFL, All-American wide receiver with the Trojans, Curtis Calway, and a man who won a Heisman at that quarterback spot, Matt Leiner. And guys, you know, this is a U.S. your former squad in USC. Although you tell me all the time, once a Trojan, always a Trojan. Yeah, you have. Yep. Well, you were at Pac-12 Networks, <laughs> Jersey, at least at this point. But here's what USC is looking at because they're, look, a season of, quote, turmoil. Look, they're still in the thick of things yeah, for that Pac-12 South title. Remember, going undefeated over the final four games and Utah at least one more loss in conference. And that could sneak USC into Levi Stadium to play a team that represents the North. Arizona, Colorado, Oregon, and UCLA, those are the next opponents What's the recipe for success right now with this USC squad? It, for USC, it's been a run-first offense. You know, sometimes earlier in the season, they get too cute trying to throw the football, getting stats with their quarterback, you know, featuring a wide receiver. They've had a history of doing that over the years. The last two weeks, they ran the ball 45 times against Utah and 50 times last week against Cal. That's the way they're going to win, dominating the time of possession. That opens up Cody Kessler and the pass game. And what it does, it allows the defense to, t to stay fresh. And we've seen the seven takeaways this defense has had in the last two weeks. It allows them to fly around, make plays, because they've struggled, obviously. But in this game, I like this matchup for USC because Arizona, they're just just—they're depleted. And defensively, I don't think they can shut down this run game. I totally agree with you. I think as a team right now, where is Arizona? Yeah. Mentally, Man, have tough. they checked out? You, know, you, you always say, get your mind right. They have to get yeah. their mind right. But it comes down to, and I've always said this, when at the beginning of the year, some people, including myself, thought Arizona was going to be a lot better than they are right now. Where's the mindset? When you have goals of going to the Pac-12 championship, having a really good season, and now you find yourself in a situation where you're just trying to get a bowl game, the mentality changes. USC, they're hungry. They're still in it. They're going to go, mm -hmm. and they're going to give their best shot. Is Arizona still there? That's my question for them. When you look at who they have to play, they still have USC, Utah, two teams who are still going to play really good yeah. football, and then, of course, the rival at the end, Arizona State. These are three football teams that you're going to face their best ball. Mentally, is Arizona still in it? That's what I'm waiting to see. You know, we had an opportunity to talk to Glenn Parker, one of our colleagues here on Sports Report on Monday night, and we had asked him, hey, what's going on with Arizona? He pointed to the injuries. He said the lack of depth, the fact that there's no buys. We know the impact Scooby Wright has had offensively New Solomon. He's just not what he was a year ago. Maybe it, it's the concussion that he suffered at some point. It just doesn't – it seems like something is just off. But this is a golden opportunity right now for USC to sort of seize on some momentum coming off certainly a huge win where Dory Jackson had that pick six for a touchdown first career interception he was glowing after the course of the game but once again enjoy this one on the football field in week number 10 but for everything that's happening around the conference just follow us on twitter at pac12 networks